Welcome back to the home team. This month's high school feature is on the Banting Senior Girls basketball team. Uh, last year we were an offs uh, finalist, uh, like we went to the offs tournament uh, as the number 11 seed. Uh, and then we've been to the city championships four out of the six years I've been here. Banting's senior girls basketball team has been successful the last couple of years, losing just one regular season game each of the last two seasons. Last year, the team qualified for the Offsa tournament. It was really amazing because I've never experienced that before because like grade 9, 10 like, wasn't like an Offsa winning team. So it was a really good experience going and it was fun. Yeah, so we have a good amount of returning players. So a lot of us have had that experience uh, playing against high level competition and also just knowing the energy and the work ethic that takes us to get there. Uh, we have 6 a.m. morning practice which is uh, can be difficult at times, but I know with the girls that we have in here, we always have nice and high energy when we get in the gym. So it's always a good time and just making sure we can rebuild and work hard and just get as much out of the season that we can. Um, I guess like kind of just like we, we like hype them up and like trying to look forward to going to OFSA and like we try and like use every situation as if we're going to OFSA. So like I think it's really like motivating to our like newer players to like have that experience. The team has carried forward that success despite what can be a challenging schedule. And then this year, we've been playing in tournaments. We ended up, I think we got to the semifinals of the UWO tournament, which was really fun. Um, but this year, basically, we've just been building a lot uh, back up from last year. It's been really good. I feel like we were going better as a team, as well as like getting to know each other and like how we play together. And I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. So the season's been uh, almost uh, exactly as I expected it would be. We were uh, a quality team all the way through. Uh, we've We've had our challenges with, uh, we have 6.15 practices uh, in the morning, so that's always a challenge for high school uh, teenage girls. But uh, we, we've, uh, we've competed and gotten better every day, uh, so I, I really can't complain as a coach. We have to be here for 5.50ish, and we have to have our warm-up done by 6.15. It's very uh, tiring, but I feel like that's what gets the hard work done, like we're better. So we typically, once the season starts, we have two games a week, normally Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, but it could be Mondays and Wednesdays. And so then the other two days, I always give the kids Friday off unless we have a tournament. Uh, so then they'll have two practices at 6.15. Uh, and depending on the, if we have a heavy schedule, then they might have a 7 a.m. shoot around uh, just, to, just to give it a little bit of a sleep in. In their first playoff game against Beal, there was a lot of crowd support for the buyout game. It was great. Uh, we had, I think, over 250 tickets sold, so the gym was pretty packed today. Uh, with that, all that energy, like you could hear the cheers going on in the background, like a lot of, I know that they started some of the cheers that we have in our pep rallies, so it was really nice just seeing some familiar faces and just kind of getting us hyped when we make a nice shot or a nice play. The only team to beat Banting in the regular season the past two years has been Lucas. And with the familiarity, a rivalry has grown. And a lot of, against a lot of really top talent uh, throughout the province uh, and then inside the city Lucas has always been a rival of ours uh, so you know being able to battle them once or twice or six times like last year was always also good so just having game experience against high quality basketball players is you, you can't beat it practice will never get to that point. It's been our like rival for a very long time it's I don't know it's a very it's very competitive like we obviously like both are very high in talent and I guess it's just a battle. <laughs> Uh, well, from last year alone, I think we played them six or seven times in the season and off season, or sorry, post season. So we've been playing them a lot. So we definitely know some of the looks that they throw at us, but it's always a new time uh, every time we play them. I know they have a lot of new players coming up this year, and we have a lot of new players as well. So it's definitely been interesting to see how both of our teams have grown and kind of just gone back and forth. But yeah, it's definitely always a nice high skill level game when we play them. So that's good. After the first playoff win for Banting, we asked what the goal was for the rest of the year. I, I think I think every year the goal's got to be to go to Offsa and at least at least make a run at that. If not, it's a you know a, a finals at Wassa. Well, for the rest of the season is uh, hopefully to make the Offsa, um, but I guess uh, day to day goals are just get better with every practice. Really, just again put in the work and uh, get everything out of the season that we can. Uh, we want to make a nice run, long stretch in the postseason, uh, which so far we've been uh, doing good uh, with our first postseason uh, post game. So yeah, just to make it as far as we can, just stick together as a team and have a lot of fun. Lucas got the better of Banting this year, but it was another strong year for the Broncos. Reporting for the home team, I'm Jeff Shaughnessy. And that's all for this episode of The Home Team. I'm your host, Jeff Shaughnessy. If you have an interesting sports story you'd like to share with us, you can get in touch with us on Twitter, at Home Team RTV. And remember, whether you're cheering from the stands or the couch, The Home Team has you covered. Thanks for watching.